Hi everyone, so in the last video we saw how we can make a plot and we can also create some other plots like the sine plot or the cosine plot or a tangent plot right so we can plot any function using the plot method and there is one more uh, thing that I want to discuss you can also create a plot if you have a 1D data let's say you have uh, array of prices which looks something like this and let me say print prices right so let's say these are the prices which are increasing quadratically over few years and you do not have the data for the x values still you can create a plot so you can say plot dot plot and you will give prices and this will basically make a curve like this right and maybe let's say it's q okay and let's call plot dot show okay. so what is happening is that on x axis by default it is going to assume the indices are going to be zero right so if you give a array so this is this goes on the y axis right so this is what i am trying to say here that if you are not giving the x y right let's say you have to give two things one is your x and what is your y so if you give only one array so this goes this becomes y and the indices of these 0 1 2 and 3 this automatically becomes your x and this becomes your y so this is help this is what you do when you do not have the x data and you want to take indices as x axis right so this is another thing that we would be using at few places in the course so i hope you are aware of it now right okay so another type of plots are called scatter plots so we have again our old data which is this now instead of making a line i want to make a uh, i want to make a plot of points so let me say uh, plot dot scatter okay and here i give x and here i give y1 and that's it so you will see you are not getting a line but you are getting the discrete points from the array right? so we have plotted each x and y from the array on this graph and let's say plot dot scatter x and y2 so this is another line right and again you can specify those properties so i'm just going to copy all of this here and let's say instead of uh, doing a plot we will just say okay do not plot these points but scatter these points so scatter plot means you are basically uh, scattering those points right and now you can see uh, the kiwi is denoted by a star and apple is denoted by a dot because we have defined a marker right so if i do not define this marker then everything will be a dot by default right or maybe you can say okay this is something like this right so this is a triangle and this is a so this kind of a plot is called a scatter plot and let's say this is a scatter plot prices over time okay okay let's learn about one more thing suppose you want to adjust the size of this plot right so let's see how we can adjust the size of any plot so we will call this method plot.figure and we will define okay the figure size should be let's say 5 comma 5 so this basically reduces our uh, plot size maybe you can say okay this should be 5 rows and 10 columns okay so 5 comma 10 let's say 10 comma 10 right okay, this basically gives you a very large plot right and maybe you can say okay this should be small like 2 comma 2 this reduces your plot size right so this is one thing that you can definitely try and i'm covering different type of ways in which you can make a plot and different type of plots you can make using matplotlib right so these are 2d plots later on we will talk about 3d plots also okay so this looks uh, reasonably well and in the next video we will talk about more types of plots see you guys in the next part